Hello and welcome to another unboxing on my channel today with Battle Spirits Saga Dawn of History. And it's the first box of the English release. By now it's at least there are two sets. I, was I don't know when I upload this video, but maybe at this point there are already three sets. I'm maybe a little bit late to the party. And yeah, I, I got this cheaper than normal, which is not a good sign for TCGs usually. Because when they lower the price, it means they don't get rid of them. And uh, yeah, but maybe the TCG market in Germany is a little bit difficult. I don't know how how many people in other countries are playing this game, but it looks like in Germany it's not very popular or like many people play it. But yeah, maybe if you know more about this, because I, I don't have a local game store or anything, uh, please let me know in the comments. Maybe there is like a strong scene in, in Germany too, or maybe in your country. So we got like a promo box topper, Pegasian. Sweet. Yeah. And a lot of a lot of booster packs. I really like a lot. So I I only have opened Battle Spirit Saga in Japanese so far. One one box from Neon Genesis Evangelion. And I'm a bit confused because they were like small, like Yu-Gi-Oh size. And this one is not looking like it's Yu-Gi-Oh size, right? I have this uh, this Shadowverse Evolve next to me. Yeah, they they have a different size. I like this. I'm not a fan, like in, in Card Fight Vanguard or like Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't like these small TCGs because the artwork is scaled smaller too. I, I like them bigger. But yeah, let's see. There is... Yeah. Okay. I have watched two or I, I skipped two, th two unboxings to get like a feeling for this tcg but yeah it looks like okay we've got some some whitening on the back already which is difficult because yeah the card back is black and you can see very very fast how the condition of the card is or if there is like whitening but yeah i i don't like how squeezed the the artwork is no borders to the right and the left but why is has this to be so big the part with the but maybe, yeah, most of you don't care because you actually play with them. I mostly buy an open cards, card boxes for the artwork. Okay, we get like a dinosaur, Dino Man. Okay. Yeah, the art style looks different. Cannon Beast Mech. Yeah, I, I think this is one thing I I saw... While I while I see in these unboxings that there is like not a consistent art style, it looks really like a wild mix, and oh, there are so many, so many cards per pack. This is so unusual. Snowflaken, armor dragon. So I w I should probably go a little bit faster at some point, but uh, yeah, we have the rarity on the ground. You see, uncommon, I think, raging dino. Pterosaur. Looks more like uh, Godzilla than like a dino. And Poison Mist and the core. Okay. So this is a UC, so I think it's some kind of like a parallel foil. Is this like a dragon? Okay, I cannot really see what's in the in the back of the artwork. But yeah, I I know that there are like six six X rarity cards with texture and they look very very nice actually. And this is a cute penguin with a with a cylinder and, uh, and with a teapot. Very cute. But yeah, why did they choose to make the artwork so small? I don't get this one. Dark matter. Rocket City, Gain, Burning Force, another like dinosaur, that's a common, so maybe there is like a foil card in every pack, okay, and we already get like a big hit, 
Storm Beast Emperor Thunder Leon. Okay, but this looks so cool. The texture on the... Yeah, you should see it, the texture on the text box. Very subtle. There's no texture on the artwork. It's only on the text and uh, yeah, on the top of the card. Yeah, this is one of the X rarities. Yeah, I like that the the artwork goes through the text box, so it's it's not really like a full art version or like extended. Yeah, it's some kind of extended artwork. I like this one, <laughs> flying turtle. Okay, able beast. That's cute. And another flying fish. Looks like this is some kind of tribal shadow. And I always mess up where my focus is. I hate this so much. I hope at some point in the future I can can get a different camera. A pain soldier sink. Flame breath. Okay. Looks like something from Neon Genesis if I'm killing on. Weird, deadly balance. And another common, Child Knight Gardener. Looks like he's missing a head. Okay, so yeah, the head is floating around and attacking. Okay, now I can understand the art. But yeah, so many packs and uh, I think the, the asking price in Germany was like 80 euro which is like yeah 80 dollars it's near, like the same this is a bearded eagle so it's the mix between a bearded vulture and a, and an eagle which is funny because i on my oh the other side this is this is a bearded vulture and you don't see this animal very often like in tcgs like not many people know about the bearded vulture but it's a beautiful animal and this is cool i want this in foil you can see, really see like the head is from a bearded vulture, from the, the black around the eyes. Just the horn that's throwing me off a bit, but that's cool. I want this in foil. That's awesome. I That's the first time I see uh, like a bearded vulture in a, in a card game. <laughs> horn penguin. Okay, that's cute too. Oh, this makes me happy. I wasn't expecting this. That's so cool. Dragon Rider. Yeah, I would really like to, to know if some of you have played this and you would recommend playing this. Add Ice Mate Fuller. Okay. But yeah, I really like the, the decision to make these cards bigger. Another bearded eagle. Now they're giving me all of the bearded cards. And we get some duplicates. Okay, finally, like some female characters, like an angel. Some more, <laughs> like a doctor. But okay, so some of the the artwork is really funny too. I like this. But these, like, yeah, these look so old school. Like this could be from a TCG from twenty or thirty years ago. Some people might like this. It's not really my type. Gale, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I, I hope in in this book there is a a foil of the bearded eagle. This would be cool. Third one. Yeah, we get like some duplicate, and this is a beautiful artwork. Ghost in the library. And deadly balance. And yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe if there is a, a sale in Germany for the second box too, I will get it. I don't know if I want to, or if I have the money next to like Shadowverse Evolve and some other TCGs for, for this TCG too. There's also like this this really art style mix that I don't really get. A raccoon, a mechanical raccoon. Okay. We 
get a dino man. Okay. I think this was one of the ones that I that I wanted. What kind of rarity? Okay, it's just an X. Okay, I was confused for a second, sorry. Infernal King Curse Dragon, yeah. I really like this this one. It looks like a mix of a dragon and like a spider. Like these things look from a spider, which is a cool design choice. Gives me also like some Skittles vibes. Uh, Skittles from yeah, the dragon from Magic the Gathering. If you if you know Magic the Gathering, you probably know the, the card. It's a black dragon with a name like Skat Skatix or something like this. But people always call him Skittles. And yeah, some kind of Triceratops. Cool. Oh, and like a boar. I like big. I like big paws, and I cannot lie. No, since I since I have watched uh, Princess Mononoke, I, I like big paws. Okay, absolute ice shield. Oh, and the fire flying turtle. Ah, oh, that's so cute. But you are not the bearded vulture or bearded eagle. Yeah, but this this was one. The, the Inferno Cursed Dragon was one of the cards I really wanted to get. I'm happy now. There are probably more, more big hits I want to get. Earth Spider Demon. Penton, okay. And another X. Armored Dragon Ship, okay. Now, this is one of the cards that don't excite me. Not really cool, but it's another X rare, and <laughs> we got the penguin. The penguin. Igua. <laughs> Igua knife? <laughs> okay, this is funny too. Okay. Some duplicates now. But we are with so many packs. Uh, yeah, with so many cards per packs and so many packs per box. It's usual to, to get so many duplicates. And you probably probably need four copies for a card for a deck, maybe. And this is our fourth bearded ego. Now we are still looking for the foil. Okay. Like the Dilophosaurus. That's nice. Big Bang. And Forest of Steel Leaves. So far I'm a little bit more positive than I, I thought. Because yeah, there are some, some artworks and some designs that I don't really like. And I especially that the artwork is so small. There are some some artworks that I really appreciate. Or they make me at least laugh. <laughs> Devilish prankster imp. Okay. Of a common foil. But I forgot to look this up. Are there 24 packs per box or even more? Feels like more. Okay, an otter. A robot otter. Bell de Jour of the Dark World 7 and another rare. Gives me like some Omni Omnimon vibes from Digimon. But yeah, as I as I said in previous unboxings, I not so big into the the Dragon Knight characters. Cornered flame flame rat. And okay, this looks cool. Snake. Angel throne. Horn penguin and foil. And oh no, another. Oh, but it, this is something special. This is not a not a X rare. This is an S E R. 
could probably foil this. Oh, and this time the, the foiling or the, the texture treatment is different. Like the, the character is embossed. Looks cool. Even if it's like a, a Mecha Knight. Which, as I said, I don't like. Dual Gun, Mech Lord, Diama, Dina. What a name. Nice. But when I later when I look into the card gallery, I probably see that there are DRPs of like dragons or something, and then I'm and I'm sad that I didn't put them instead like a like a big robot. Oh, cute gem beast, Kabulk, favorite beast. I like that they mix a lot of like real animals or like they put different animals together. I really like this. Rotting Swamp, Pent and Chic, Royal Potion and Snowflake and Armored Dragon again. Still like eight, I think eight packs left. We have now four. So if I haven't miscounted, we should get two more X rares. Hippo camp, yeah, again, they put two animals together. So we had two more X rares. Sage Beast Eberix, and yeah, another X. Okay, another Mecha Dinosaur Harrier Turbo Rex. Yeah, maybe there are different themes for the other releases. Maybe some of them are not so heavily on the on the Mecha side, like the Machine Beast side. Okay, why, 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 I, I don't even try to pronounce this, but this looks pretty. Bone Scout, okay, yeah, this looks goofy. Again, this could be like from a TCG 30 years ago. And I act on Kylosaurus. Illusioner, that's just cool too. Ah, War Angels, Shin, pretty one. And a Fairy Blacksmith. One last hit. It feels like this TC this, this unboxing takes forever. Sorry for this. I'm always open for critique. So if you think I should keep them videos shorter, please let me know. King Snake quit still could could. Oh it, this is just a rare. Oh I think there is a there was a big it from this character too, which were like my second wand next to the Cursed Dragon. I think there is an X or maybe an SRP from this one. Maybe this is my my last X rare if I have some some hope left. And this could be this artwork could be like from Flesh and Blood. Yeah, the art the art mix is a little bit inconsistent. Mm, it's just an uncommon. Camelot Knight. Mm, I think we have seen like most of them now. The commons. Mecha Beast. Okay, this is new. And just a rare. Fortress God Knight Odin Type X. Wow. Who comes up with these names, like... I don't know. Some of these names are strange, like putting some buzzwords together. Oh no, I'm too stupid. Too stupid to open packs. Who would have thought? And I'm really buried, like, in packs. Oh, this looks nice. Can we get another dragon, please, in the end? 
Okay, the last X. Please no no machine beast. Super duper stuff. Okay, I take this. I take this. Grand Underworld Trio Queen Miduk. Yeah, the name again is weird. Looks like a Medusa type. Oh, that's cool. Not a dragon, but I like this one. Pretty character. And yeah, I would say this was the last hit. Two more packs. Maybe there is like a like a bearded eagle in the hand is what make me happy. No, it's a chain viper. It looks cool too. Yeah, the foiling is cool, like when I turf the card. The the reflection on the eyes is pretty looking. So last pack for this unboxing, sorry that I take so long for this. But yeah, let me know what what do you think about this TCG. If you have played it, maybe it's already dying. I don't know. Dark matter. Or what do you think about the art style? I would like to hear this too. And Calatrius, and we have one X rare in the end. Okay, that's cool. Okay, another. Big animal. That's God Beast Behemoth. That's a nice artwork. Yeah, it's not a machine. I am very happy, especially with my last hits. And yeah, of course, with the Cursed Dragon. But yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting my channel. And yeah, see you in my next unboxing. Bye.